Today, we're going to explain the difference between a dump trailer and a dumpster. Guys, you gotta quit calling your trailers dumpsters because they're not, and I'm gonna explain why. I have two 12 cubic yard items here. I got a 12 cubic yard dumpster, and I got a 12 cubic yard trailer. At the end of this video, you're gonna understand why you shouldn't be calling this trailer a dumpster anymore. The most obvious reason is for your customers, for you guys renting these two different styles, you can clearly see how much lower a dumpster actually sits to the ground versus a trailer. I'll give you an example. This dumpster sits right at 12 inches off the ground. This trailer is 33 inches, almost three feet. Let me state the obvious. If you rent a true dumpster, it is so easy to load this up 12 inches off the ground and load all of your debris in here. Your heavy items, your awkward items, anything else like that. If you're trying to load a trailer, you have to come nearly three feet off the ground to start loading your items. I'm gonna give you an example. If somebody calls and rents a trailer to load dirt, concrete, sod or anything like that and they plan on loading it with a wheelbarrow they rent from me they're gonna be able to get their wheelbarrow up to the edge unload it even make a small ramp if they need to and put your wheelbarrow in the problem is people are advertising this as a dumpster this gets to the homeowner now he takes his wheelbarrow brings it all the way from his project how does he get it in here he is going to create so much more work for himself guys Work smarter, don't work harder. For you homeowners and contractors renting trailers, look at all the extra work you gotta do to lo load this with dirt, concrete, or sod by hand. Not only are you bringing it to the trailer, now you gotta put in three times the work that you do with a trailer like that. Look. The next extremely obvious thing is loading this from the side. Once my door is shut, because you're gonna get to the point, you have to shut the door to continue loading it. Once the door is shut, I can still side load over this very easy. This checks in just under five feet. Now remember, both the dumpster and the trailer are the same cubic yardage. So to side load this, you're at 57 inches. To side load this one, you're two inches short of seven feet. So by the time you close the doors, you have a dramatic difference in side loading. You're not putting any heavy items over this, but they have to build the sides up taller to get the cubic yard, because if you're renting a 12 cubic yard from this company or a 12 cubic yard from us, you have to make it taller to get that cubic yardage. So you got the door on the back, you got the height on it, now the width. Our dumpsters sit right at 94 inches wide. This dumpster sits right at 80 inches wide. So again, it's narrower, so you have to make up that volume by going longer and going taller. Guys, remember, not everybody has all the real estate in the world to drop a dumpster off. Most of these places are very tight quarters. Look how much taller and look how much longer the dump trailer is. Because if you look at the back, the backs are lined up. So when you have a customer that has tight quarters, a dumpster just makes more sense because you can get it in that tighter area. Not to mention, it's a couple feet longer. You also have to take in consideration for that tongue for these guys that are working in tight spots. So including the tongue, the dump trailer is over seven feet longer. Again, this makes a big difference for guys that are renting a dumpster to put into a tight area. They might only have a parking stall. They might have very limited space in their driveway, in front of their house, on the side of their house, behind their house. And then you show up with a seven foot longer trailer, a seven foot load height, and three feet off the ground for them to try and load their dirt their sod, their gravel, or even if they're moving out, you're making your client work three times harder to load this trailer. Let's face it, guys. The only reason you're calling this a dumpster is because it dumps. 
Tell me how that benefits your client. It doesn't. It benefits you as the operator. The client doesn't care if this dumps. They're loading it. They're not unloading it. You're calling it a dumpster just because it dumps. You're really making it difficult on your customer by just not being transparent about what it is. This is what they're expecting. This is what you guys are delivering to them. Quit calling your dump trailer a dumpster. Call it what it is. It's a dump trailer. Before you guys light up my comments, driveway safe, it is the only thing that you guys feel that you guys can say that's value. Okay, it's rubber tire, so in your mind, it's driveway safe. I don't run in a group, and I don't know a dumpster operator with a roll-off dumpster that can't set that dumpster on the ground without moving those tires and wheels. So your whole argument of driveway safe, it really doesn't hold up. If you're a professional, you know how to operate your equipment, a roll-off dumpster isn't gonna move when you set it on the ground. And even if you were worried about it, that's an upsell item. You can upsell your client on rolly skates. You can upsell your client on some type of protection that you can put down for it. Your driveway safe, it doesn't hold any water, okay? You got tires, we can set it down, it doesn't move. It's really not that big of a benefit. I don't know how many of you guys are just in the flatlands or how many of you guys are in the hills or you're in San Francisco. Here in Salt Lake City, what we say is there's no flat lies. Nothing is flat. Everything is on a hill and on a pitch. This is more likely, your dump trailer is more likely to roll off the customer's driveway than a roll off dumpster. A roll off dumpster doesn't even have wheels on the front. So you are highly more likely to fight this trailer on a job site and trying to get it to stay where you want it to stay than you are a roll off dumpster. Something to keep in mind. So think about the position that you're putting your clients in by renting them a dump trailer when they think they're getting a dumpster. This is what they think they're loading. This is what you're making them do to load it. This is a big difference. And keep in mind, they're the exact same cubic yardage. You're making your customer load dirt, sod, concrete, and gravel three feet off the ground when he's expecting something wheelbarrow friendly. Not everybody has a piece of construction equipment on the site that they can load. You've got to make it easy on your guys. I get it. I'm not saying you guys shouldn't rent these trailers out. Just quit calling them dumpsters. It's a dump trailer. Guys, this video was done a little bit tongue in cheek. It's, uh, you don't need to get all fired up and drop in my comments that I hate trailer guys. I hate dump trailer guys. I have one. <laughs> so I'm not hating on you guys. All I'm saying is don't be embarrassed what you have. If you run a dump trailer, advertise it as a dump trailer. Quit trying to be something that you're not. You're renting a dump trailer, call it a dump trailer. Don't call it a dumpster because you are really misleading your clients and you're making them put in three times the work to load it that they're not planning on doing. Be honest, be transparent. We're just having a little fun with you guys. Same day doesn't hate the dump trailer guys. We just thought it was time. We put together a little video and like our friend on the corner says, stop calling your dump trailer a dumpster. Guys, thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Also, two days I'll be in Vegas. Come by, slap me on the back, yell at me, say hello, tell me you love my videos, tell me you hate my videos, come by. For every person in Vegas at Con Expo that comes up to me and says they saw this video, I'm gonna hook you up with a free hoodie of your size. Thanks for watching guys, always like, share, subscribe. We really appreciate you guys. Had a lot of fun filming this way. Hope you guys can laugh at it too. We'll see you. Also guys, we need your help. Last week, we announced the winner of this lift, carbon fiber safety hard hat, and it went out to Anthony S. I'm not even gonna try and say his last name. I absolutely just murdered it last week trying to say it. Anthony S., we're looking for you. Refer to our last video. This is your hard hat. Hey, if you guys know who he is, hit him up, tell him to get a hold of us. We'd really like to give him this hat. We're gonna try for another week or two. We don't hear back from me, Anthony. We're gonna go back in the mix and we're gonna get to somebody else for you. So, but we'd like to give it to you and give you every opportunity. So if you know Anthony, hit him up. We got your hard hat for you, bud. All right, time to announce this week's winner of the hoodie that we, allow, uh, that we announced last week. 
We just said make a comment on that last post and we'll give you a hoodie. Hey, John Fontaine, I got a hoodie for you, brother, with your name on it. Message me, get a hold of me, uh, let me know what size hoodie you want and I'll send it out to you. For everybody else, easiest way to get a hoodie, find me at ConAg. Just come find me, tell me you saw this video, I'm gonna hook you up with a hoodie and I'll get it mailed out to you. Guys, thanks so much. See you guys in Vegas. Safe travels, everyone. Travel light. We'll catch you guys in Vegas on Tuesday. We got a special episode coming for you then.